This program is brought to you by the friends and partners of AMI. Alleluia Ministries International believes in the Bible and Christ. We are Christ-centered and Jesus is at the heart of everything we believe and do. Our mission is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. Through this mission, we seek to empower believers and equip them with the tools to share the gospel with the world and to live a life of faith, hope and love in Christ. Jesus remains the same yesterday, today and forever. Just as it was in Scripture, His power is at work today in the church. We are AMI. The time for the International Visitors Program in South Africa, Alleluia Ministries International has arrived. I urge each and every pastor, minister, bishop, AMI disciple, ambassador to come forth and answer to the call of our father, the great Alf Lukau. Your place is on the altar of the Lord. Your father has heard from the Lord and we are responding to the call. I invite each and every disciple out there to make it to the IVP. It's time to plan its preparation time. Get your ticket, register online on www. AllelujahMinistries.com I pray you will not miss this opportunity. He who has an ear, may he hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. I believe sincerely in the call of God and my Father and I do know that you will never call a meeting unless God has called him. And I also know that God will never call a meeting and not appear. The appearance of God is your portion. Come to the IVP from the 25th of October up till the 29th of October. And do remember, it's celebration time at the same time. On the 25th of October, we will celebrate the birthday of our prophet, the great Alf Lukau, your Moses and my Moses. From me, Bishop J. Shalom and God bless you. See you on the altar of God. For the benefit of the various visiting internationals from across the world, there are no limits. The degree to which you will connect during this highly spiritual moment is the degree to which you will see God move in your life. The physical world we see is formed and controlled by the spiritual world. As such, God has given governance and spiritual authority to his prophets who govern their prophetic office and have access to and dominion over physical activities. With the ability to foretell the future, the destiny of their people, seeing the private hidden things pertaining to their lives. We see this is exemplified in Elijah in 2 Kings 6 verse 12 when he hears the secret military strategies were spoken of in King Aram's bedroom. This divine energy to see and hear private happenings in the quarters of high-ranking national leaders is an ability still honed by a prophet in his prophetic office. Given the mandate by God to govern over nations and kingdoms, this prophet is Alf Luko. There is one such prophet with whom God has entrusted us with the governing power and unhindered clarity of sight over nations and kingdoms in this world. Pastor Alf Luko has received divine instructions from the throne room. This October from 25th to the 29th be part of the International Visitors Program IDD. As a place where visitors come from most parts of the world to experience the tangible presence of the Lord Jesus in a manner unlike any other place on earth. From 25th to the 29th October 2023 at AMI, 5 Impala Road, 
Kelvin View, Johannesburg, South Africa. There will be an explosion of wonders and testimonies in every area of your life. You will receive healing, blessings and great financial breakthrough. Your life is about to become a testimony. A place where divine energy will be shared with each one of the guests. For God to give us a man whom he has allowed to see beyond what the mind and heart can comprehend is a priceless gift to be cherished. A man with unraveled spiritual vigor and yet displays in his flesh a heavenly dynamic of humility and forthrightness. His grace, Alf Luko. Beloved, this IVP is prophetically called by God. Register now at www.alleluiaministries.com or call plus 27 11 443 5705. Here is a step-by-step -step guideline on how to make safe online payments to Alleluia Ministries International from any country around the globe using your computer, your laptop, your cell phone, or any device of your choice. Let's begin. The first step would be to open your web browser. Type in www.alleluiaministries.com. This will lead you to Alleluia Ministries International's welcome page. Select the tab written Online Giving, where you will find our three different payment options. Namely, PayPal, NetBank, and lastly, credit card or debit card payment options. For payment via PayPal, click on the PayPal icon, which will redirect you to our PayPal payment page. Insert the amount you wish to transfer and click on the option Donate with PayPal or Donate with Credit Card. If you're paying with your credit card, fill in all your details, your credit card number, and click the box below to confirm that you've read all the information and finally click on Donate Now. For payments into our NetBank account, use only the banking details on Alleluia Ministries International's website. Our NetBank details are as follows. Account name, Alleluia Ministries International, NPC. Account number, 120-582-7692. Branch code, 197005. Swift code, NEDSZAJJ. Use your name and surname as reference, or use the purpose of your payment as reference. For example, tithes, seed offering, prophetic seed, IVP accommodation, or TV ministries. To donate using a credit card or debit card, fill in the information below in detail. Kindly note that payments will be deducted in South African rands. Once all information has been filled in correctly, agree to the terms and conditions by clicking the box on your bottom left corner. Proceed to click on Place Order. Once all payments are made, you will receive an email from Alleluia Ministries International confirming that your payment has been well received. These are our only payment options, and you are advised to take extra caution. Thank you for your time, and may God bless you as you send forth your seed. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Arv Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Arv Lukau on all social media platforms at Arv Lukau. Glory, glory, glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah to the King of glory, the God strong and mighty, the God mighty in battle, our shepherd, our shield, our refuge, our hiding place. Hallelujah to his beautiful and his holy name. Family, I welcome you once again to Let's Pray with Alf Lukau. Hallelujah. These are special, tender, very sacred moments in the presence of God. And we want you to uh, maximize every single moment that we have in the presence of God under the leadership and under the supreme anointing of our father, Alf Lukau. Hallelujah. I always say when I pray that, Lord... If you don't want to answer my prayers, answer my father's prayers for me in the name of Jesus. So we welcome you one more time to Let's Pray with Alf Lukau. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. And the Lord give you peace all the days of your life. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to welcome everybody that is watching right now on all of our social media platforms. God bless you for making sure that you are tuned in and God bless you even more for being an evangelist, for being one that has decided that the spirit of the Lord has come upon you and you have become a witness, hallelujah. Uh, you become a witness by sharing, by liking the broadcast and by making sure that you participate as we continue during the program as well. To all our Twitter uh, viewers, we say glory be to God. Make sure that you retweet the, the broadcast and make the show go viral hallelujah let us take twitter by storm glory be to god those of you that are watching on facebook that is my favorite platform from which to watch i thank god for your life please make sure that you share the broadcast please make sure that you keep on liking keep on sending those love emojis throughout the broadcast and the lord god will be glorified in the mighty name of jesus we want to also make sure that you do not just watch hallelujah but that you actually pray that you participate hallelujah and as you do so go ahead and type something go ahead and say amen go ahead and say i receive go ahead and keep on declaring what we are declaring and the lord god will be glorified and you child of god will get the victory in the mighty name of jesus i want to welcome everybody that is watching on youtube on instagram go ahead and do exactly the same make sure that people in your sphere people in your circle know that you are a child of God. The Bible says that if you are ashamed of the Lord on this earth, the word of God says that he will then be ashamed of you in heaven. And God forbid that that should be your story. By you going ahead and sharing and liking the broadcast and commenting, you're letting people know in your community that you are a child of God, that you are a believer and that your faith is high and that you will have what God says you must have. You will possess your possessions, the devil like it or not, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are grateful, sons and daughters of God, that uh, our father has the the leadership ability to be able to make sure that all of these broadcasts are happening live every day glory be to god from 20 years ago our father always had the vision of making sure the lord actually gave him the vision of saying that the media will become his and indeed we have millions of subscribers millions of viewers millions of people all over the world that are igniting the fire of the holy spirit the fire of the gospel wherever they are in the most darkest and the most unknown places i mean we have people hello to fiji this evening in the name of Jesus, people in Vietnam, people in the furthest parts of Africa, Sierra Leone, Uganda, uh, Kenya, God bless you for being a part of this. And thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph because of a leader. Glory be to God. And of course, family, that leader is none other than our father, your father, your spiritual father, my spiritual father. His name is Alf Lukau. Hallelujah. That name is a code in the heavenlies. When you call upon the God of Alf Lukau, things begin to shake, things begin to shift, things begin to fall into place because of the covenant, the strong covenant that our Father has with our God. Hallelujah. And I just love the fact that you and I, by virtue of the fact that we are connected, we become recipients, we become beneficiaries of that covenant. We become the one of those that has access, benefits, daily benefits, the word of God talks about. We enjoy daily benefits because of our connection to our Father. So tonight, my Father, I wanna salute you. I wanna thank God for your life. I love you, my Father, I honor you. I thank God for the investment that you make in the kingdom of God on a daily basis. I wanna thank God for the intercession. I wanna thank God for all the travailing that you do. You know, as much as we may not be able to communicate with our Father directly all the time because of his position, you know, in the heavenlies, we also understand, I know for sure that my Father is praying for me. I feel, you know, the, the presence of God. You know, I feel even in my dreams, I see my father all the time and I just know my father has got my back. He's praying for me. He's interceding for me. And I want to thank you for that, my father. And I know my father, just like God is no respect of persons. You are also no respect of persons. You are the man of God that God has assigned to intercede and to pray for all of us that are connected to you. 
Thank you for taking the assignment so seriously. Thank you for being committed to the assignment. And thank you, my father, that the assignment, as much as it takes sacrifice, you are fully committed and you are fully sold out. May the Lord continue to use you, my father. May the Lord continue to lift you, elevate you, bless you, and prosper you. Hallelujah. I thank God for you. And I just love you, my father. I honor you and I respect you. And I thank God for the gifts of God that God has given you. And I know that those gifts that God has given you, you share freely with the world. And that is exactly the heart of Christ, the mind of Christ, that everybody should feel, you know, part of the body of Christ and understand that their, their salvation produces benefits. Their salvation produces results. So I thank God for you, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to go ahead, child of God, and do the same. I want you to type something on the internet, whether you're watching on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or Twitter. Just say, Lord, I thank you for my Father. I thank you for the prayers. I thank you for the intercession. And God will be glorified. And I promise you, you will have the victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Of course, I cannot continue without just honoring my mother. Mommy, I honor you so much. I thank God for your life as well, my mother. I thank God that you are indeed the quiet storm. I thank God for your prayers. I thank God for your love. I thank God for your kindness, Mami. I thank you for the way that you handle things in the ministry, the way you handle your sons and your daughters with such poise, with such royalty. May God continue to bless you, Mami. Bless your family, bless your marriage, bless your children, bless your ministry, bless everything that concerns you, Mami, in the mighty name of Jesus. Here is my kiss from me to you with all my love and adoration, Mami. I cannot wait to see you very, very soon. I'm excited. My spirit is bubbling. And uh, the other day I was just picturing, you know, how you're going to be looking, you know. And I was like, oh my goodness, we need some glam in the atmosphere. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, this evening we are not alone as usual. I'm here with my beloved Pastor Pam, looking all glorious in a lovely, fresh summer color. And uh, I know that uh, we are going to deal with some issues tonight. Pastor Sweet. Pam, welcome. Uh, hallelujah. Indeed we are. Thank you so much, Pastor Rosa. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's always an honor. It's always a pleasure to be here with you, the saints, the children of God, the chosen generation. To me, I call it an AL generation. As long as you are here, you understand the covenant that God has given to our Father, and I thank God for it. I thank God for all of you. I thank God for the grace that is upon our lives because of the connection that we have with our Father. We are blessed, Alleluia. we are highly favored, Amen. we are a chosen generation, we have it all. We are the greatest investment in God's eyes. We are the apple of God's eye. So I want to thank you so much for joining us. I Thank you, because I know you are here for serious business. You are here to pray. You are here to call upon God. And I thank God for you because you understand the prophetic. You understand that we are not here just to speak. We are not here just to talk. But we are here to believe in our God. We are here to tap into the destiny that God has set for us. For that, I salute you. Allow me to thank God because for us to be, for us to speak of AMI, for us to speak of this Let's Pray program and even the rise of the prophetic voice is because someone took heed of the word of God, the call of God upon his life. That is none other than our father, our dearly beloved dad. I appreciate you, men of God. I thank God for you. I thank God for the grace the anointing that is upon your life. I call myself blessed. I call my brother and my sister blessed for the day that God brought us to you. We are a transformed generation. We are not the same as we were because of the word, because of the revelation that comes from you. I thank God for the anointing that you keep on importing upon us, such a selfless a uh, lifestyle that you live, such a, an inspiration to us. You are a, a leader with uh, a different Amen. understanding of things and a different way of handling things. I thank God for you, Daddy. You are just a precious uh, gift to our lives and to 
the nations, and I know everyone echoes the same sentiment that we are blessed to have you Amen. as our Father. And I keep on praying that God may preserve you, may protect you for us and for nations. Besides you, Dad, there is a woman of God, Mama Celeste. We miss you so much Hallelujah. and we are waiting for you mommy we love you dearly we thank you we thank you especially for taking good care of our dad such a precious uh, thing that you are doing for us for our dad to become for our dad to be able to do what god has called him to be it's because you give him the space i always cherish that part i always I bless God for you, for your calmness, for your support, unwavering, sincere, pure love to our dad and to us as well. Us as daughters, when we see our mom doing the best for our dad, that's the most exciting thing that we want for our mom and our dad. And for that, Mami Celeste, I honor you. Amen. And I thank God for you. I always want to say, together for life. My pastor, Hallelujah. tonight. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We have the best parents ever, my pastor. That's true. You know, um, it's just amazing. Not everybody will understand. Glory be to God. That's your own business. But we hope and pray by the revelation power of God that one day you will enter into the same covenant that we are enjoying. Hallelujah. We enjoy the peace of God. We enjoy the joy of God, the word of God. We love to pray. We love all things spiritual in Alleluia Ministries because of our Father that has taught us and that has led from the front and shown us that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. Jesus first, Jesus second, Jesus third. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. So we welcome you with high anticipation and expectation to let's pray. The word of God says that the expectations of the righteous shall never be cut off. As we enter into the season of prayer, into this hour of prayer, be expectant, child of God. Don't just do things by ritual. Don't just do things by routine. But understand that every time that we are in the presence of God, in a sacred time, it's time for an exchange. It's time to tell God what we want and for God to tell us what he also wants from us it's communication time glory be to god so i want us to get yourself ready right now so that we can begin to pray i believe pastor pram you know that's the way i pray and that's the way my father has taught us yes. that when it's time to pray we first enter his gates with thanksgiving we enter his courts with praise mm -hmm. that is the protocol the word of god says this when when the disciples asked jesus how to pray he said this is how you pray our father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. That is worship, that is praise. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But first, we have to call upon our Father. We have to worship our Father. So we want you to set aside everything right now that could be a source of distraction and focus on your maker, focus on your creator, focus on the one that has allowed you and I to be in his presence tonight and glorify his name. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? Father, we thank you and we bless your holy name. We exalt you tonight because you are God. You are God and you are God all by yourself. The heavens are your throne and the earth is your footstool. Lord, you are the uncreated creator. Lord, you are the master of the universe. My father, you are our Shiloh. You are our peace. You are the sovereign king of glory. You are supreme. You are the ruler of our lives, almighty God. You are the king of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the cornerstone, the chief cornerstone of our lives. You are our strong foundation, almighty God. Lord, it's in you that we move and that we have our being. Father, we cannot stand, we cannot even take the next breath without you, almighty God. We worship you tonight. Your sons and your daughters across the universe 
are worshipping you, Lord, with hands lifted up, almighty God. The songwriter said that the glory comes when we worship you. We worship you. I want us to get drunk together tonight, child of God. I want you to ascend to the heavenlies tonight. If you can speak in tongues, go ahead and speak in tongues right now. Worship and adore the Savior. Worship and adore our Redeemer. Worship and re adore the one who paid the price the one who settled the bill, the one who has forgiven us for our sins, past sins and present sins and even future sins. He paid the price in full. Father, we exalt your beautiful name. We extol your mighty name. We lift up the name of Jesus tonight. We lift up the name of Jesus above every trouble, above every challenge, above every calamity and we call you the king of our lives. We call you the ruler of our lives. We call you the one that has the final say. The one who said in his word that his word will never return unto him void. The one who promised us, almighty God, that you will never ever leave us, nor, we, nor ever forsake us. We honor you tonight, almighty God. We exalt you, God of our Father. We exalt you, God of this altar, the strength of Alleluia Ministries, the strength of Alf Lukau, the strength of our Father's knees, the strength of our, of our Father's covenant. We exalt your holy name tonight, almighty God. We thank you because you're such a good God. We thank you because you are the shepherd, the good shepherd we shall not want in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your name because you are the healer, the deliverer, the way maker, the story changer, the life transformer, the problem solver, almighty God. And you are the promise keeper, almighty God. We exalt you tonight. We adore you, Master Jesus. Maziba Kalebo Soto, Rikalabondo Robo Sianda Rababo Sete, Zekata Mandorobo Sikatalaba, with your hands lifted up, child of God, begin to worship Him. Rekande rebo seyanda rababo soto, zekata ya bosoto, mazeba kale bosoto. Our deliverer, rebabo soto. Lord, You have delivered us from ourselves, O oh God. You have de delivered us from wrong thinking, from wrong believing, from mistrusting You, O oh God. You have delivered us from doubt, Almighty God. Daily You show us, O oh God, how great You are, how powerful You are, how amazing You are, how faithful you are almighty God daily you display your power daily you display your glory daily daily you display your presence daily you display your fire we exalt you tonight almighty God with our hands lifted up oh God we worship you we exalt you I want you child of God wherever you are right now if you're watching on your device Hold the device with one hand and lift up the other hand in adoration. Preferably the right hand because the right hand is the hand of authority. As you lift up your hand, you are taking authority over every evil spirit, over every worry, over every challenge, over every concern, over every anxiety. And you are saying, Lord, you have rulership over that situation. That is why we exalt you in the mighty name of Jesus. To you, Lord, be all the honor. Be all yes. the glory, yes. be all the adoration, almighty Amen. God, our strong foundation. Thank you, Father God, the bread of heaven sent down from glory, almighty God. We bless your name. We love you and we worship you, oh God. We trust yes, you, almighty Jesus. God. Lord, some trust in horses and some trust in, in chariots, but we trust in the name of the Lord. We have seen, almighty God, that uh, economies will fail, oh God. Qualifications will fail us. Husbands will fail us. Wives will fail us. But we have come to understand and to experience, oh God, that you are the one true steady thing in our lives, oh God. Your salvation power, almighty God, is consistent and it's constant and every day it produces miracles. Every day it produces benefits. Hallowed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. We glorify your name tonight, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to continue to love on the Lord. If you have never told him that you love him, tonight is one of those nights where you can articulate, open up your mouth and say, Lord, I love you. When mm. you say that you love Jesus, what you are actually also saying, yes, you are Lord saying that God. you trust him, that That's no true. matter whatever is going on around you, Pastor Pam, when I say I love Jesus, yeah. I mean I trust him, I mean That's I believe in him, I mean that I have hope in him, yes. I mean that I have faith in him, yes. that no matter whatever is happening around me, mm. I know that the steadfast love of the yeah. Lord 
never ever ceases. His mercies never come to an end. In fact, the word of God says that his mercies are new every single morning. Glory be to Jesus. Hallowed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the name of Yahweh in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, my Father. We glorify your name. I love you, my Jesus. We I love you, Abba you, Father. Father. You I alone love you, are Holy God. Spirit. You alone are great. I love you, Holy you Spirit. You alone are faithful, Almighty my trust God. Is in you. you have been God in Thank our lives, you, Almighty God. Thank you for the soundness of our mind, Almighty God, that we understand the prophetic, that we understand the revelation of your word, O oh God. Thank we you, thank Jesus. you, Almighty God. We, we thank you. you for the breath of life, thank O you, God, Lord. for keeping us, for binding us together with thank cords you, that we cannot be you. broken, Almighty we God. You. We thank you so much, Almighty mm. God, because you are always faithful. Wonderful. You have been faithful, O oh God, in our wonderful, lives, O oh Lord, with our families, with our Jesus. children, O oh God, wonderful. with our ministry oh Hallelujah. lord you have preserved our father wonderful, you have preserved bishops Jesus. alas you have preserved all the bishops all the pastors oh god you have kept us together Thank almighty you, god hearing your word almighty god spreading wonderful the word Savior. oh god we thank you so much oh god for what you are doing in ami the miracles you, the signs the wonders papa you, we don't you. take them oh god for granted because father it's not by might thank it's you, not by power but it's by your spirit you chose us oh God, to use us, Almighty thank God, you, to use our Father to become. We just want to thank you. We just want to appreciate you. We thank you for this day, Papa. We thank you, Almighty God, for granting us programs like this, oh God. They are always edifying us. They are always making us to become, oh Lord. We thank you so much, oh God, and we glorify your name before, because you are God. As we thank pray, you, as Jesus. we thank God as well. I love you, Holy Spirit. I just want us to thank focus you, as well on what our father gave us as for the month of October. Hallelujah. If uh, maybe they can put up a scripture, Isaiah 43, verse 19. The word of God actually uh, speaks of a new thing. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? Hallelujah. Before it, we even carry on, behold, it's, you need to pause a bit. Our Father always likes saying, wait, <laughs> wait a bit Hallelujah. and hear the good thing that God is proclaiming in our lives. Behold, you should conscientize your mind to say, there's something that is happening here. I will do a new thing. A new thing can be an unusual thing, like our Father declared, unusual miracles. I will do a new thing. And now it shall spring forth. You know, God is not debating about it. He's actually giving it to you on the table to say, now it shall spring forth. Meaning to say it's coming to pass. No matter what, that new thing is coming to pass. Amen, amen. Shall you not know it? You, you have to perceive it if we can proceed to the next. Hallelujah. You, I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Those are impossible. You know, practically impossible with our own eyes, with our own emotions, with our own intelligence. You perceive it. You see, uh-uh, it can be. A road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Hallelujah. Those are climates that have been automatically ruled that there won't be any water here. But God is promising rivers. Hallelujah. Big things in in the midst of a desert. Hallelujah. So these are the unusual miracles. You perceive it. You, you, you have to see it. You have to, to, to visualize it. You have to expect it. You Amen. have to anticipate for it. If you don't see it, you are not going to have it. But we thank God because Hallelujah. we are people of a revelation. Hallelujah. Whatever our Father says, because the Word of God says in Second Chronicles 20, 20, believe in the Lord your God, you shall be established. And this is the word that he is proclaiming. And believe in the men of God, your prophet, you shall prosper. Unusual miracles you, is Father. our portion. Hallelujah. So as we pray tonight, I want us to focus to say, God, we are perceiving it. We are not naive. We are not stupid. We are not foolish to be fooled by the devil that it won't happen. Uh, they, there has never been a river in a desert. Those are unusual miracles that we are trusting God for. And we are perceiving it Hallelujah. and we are receiving Hallelujah. it. Father, we come before thank your throne you, of Father. grace, almighty Jesus. God. We thank you so much, almighty thank God, you, for favor 
delivering us with God, such God, a word, O oh God. A word, O oh God, in season. A month thank of you, unusual Jesus. miracles. Hallelujah. I'm not going to box you for anything, God. You, I'm just going to allow you to be God in my life. I'm going to allow you to be God in my sister's life, in my brother's life, O oh God. Amen. You are doing a new thing, Almighty God. Something that we never thought with our mind. You say, what no eye ever saw. What no mind ever conceived. What no ear ever heard. Those are the very things that you have for those Hallelujah. who love the Lord Almighty God. We thank you so much thank almighty you, god Jesus. we are perceiving it almighty god we are believing it oh god because you are able you are willing and you have a strength you brought that word through your servant oh god because you had myself you had my brother you had my sister in mind oh god because you watch over your way to perform it oh papa i thank you so much almighty god thank we are Jesus. blessed almighty god to have a word to run with almighty god because we know Oh, we are confident of this very thing, oh God, that you will begin a thing in us, almighty God. You will bring it unto completion. You are bringing it unto completion, oh Papa. You are going to fulfill your word. There will be unusual miracles, almighty God. There will be extraordinary happenings in our lives, in our finances, almighty God. Money's almighty God contracts that we never expected. Oh Lord, I'm looking at it and I'm cherishing it because I'm seeing it in the spiritual realm. It's not about what I am touching now. It's about what I perceive in the spirit, almighty God, because you said the word, oh Papa. I thank you so much because you are a loving God. You are always faithful, oh God. You have been faithful faithful to our Father, Outlook, our oh God. And I know you always be faithful because you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You are doing it in our lives, you, Almighty Lord. God. Hallelujah. We love to love you, oh thank Lord, you, because we know you are a God Hallelujah. who is able, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you so much, Almighty Bless God, for what you are doing to our spiritual Bless life, oh Bless God. We Bless choose not to hold on to the form of religion, but denying the power of God. But we choose to run with it, oh God. Thank we you, choose Jesus. to send almighty God. Hallelujah. Unusual miracles, oh God. In our spiritual life, oh God. In every team, almighty Father. You are going to perform, oh God, miracles, Papa. You are going to show forth, manifest your glory, oh God. Some will walk through walls, oh God. We are going to walk on water, oh Papa. We are going to do exceedingly abundantly, oh Jehovah. Anything is possible with you, oh God. I know, Almighty God, in our health, divine health is our portion, oh Thank God. You, Jesus. Every disease, oh Lord, every pain, oh God, every infliction, Almighty God, of the body, oh God, I reject, I rebuke it, oh God, because unusual miracles are happening in our lives. Cancer is being eradicated, oh God, Thank in you, every Jesus. body, Almighty God, any chronic Amen. disease, oh yeah. God. We are going to lay Thank hands, you. Almighty Thank God. You. We are already doing it because the power of God is working in us, oh God. Hallelujah. Everyone, Almighty God, that we lay hands on, oh Papa, I know, Almighty God, they're going to have their deliverance, oh God. Amen. You are betting even as we go forth, oh Lord, and use our miracles, oh God, as we reach forth, oh God, unto new souls. I'm I'm praying, Almighty God, that affinity, Almighty God, for the things of God. I pray, Almighty Father, that they love you, that they may cherish to be in the house of God. Oh God, I thank you so much, Almighty Father, because you are working thank it you, in Jesus. us, oh God, Hallelujah. in an unusual way, thank oh you, Lord. Father. And we appreciate it, name, oh Lord. God, because Bless you are name. doing Bless it and name. you Hallelujah. are God. Thank you, yes, Father. Glory, Glory be to the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, because indeed you are the God mm. of the impossible. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because indeed you are the God of the supernatural. Yes, we thank you, Lord. Almighty God, because indeed you are the God mm. of the prophets. You are the God of the apostles. Oh, Lord, we thank you because you are the God mm -hmm. that has given us the uh, right and oh, the authority shit. and the permission and the approval of oh God to exercise, oh mm. God, um, our right to perform unusual oh, miracles. Shit. 
in the name of Jesus. Yes. And we thank you for that right, almighty God, mm. because we know that it was paid for with the price. Lord, help mm. us not to take that price for granted. Yes, right. Help us not to undermine that price, almighty God. Help yes, us not to offend the spirit of God by yes, believing right. for small things, oh God, mm. but help us elevate our minds, elevate yes, our right. spirits, Elevate, oh God, our thinking. Elevate our perception. Yes, Elevate Christ. our expectations, oh, almighty Jesus. God, to your standard in the mighty name of Jesus. Because your standard is the impossible. Yes, your standard is the supernatural. Your standard is the prophetic. Your, sta your standard is the miraculous mm. in the mighty name of Jesus. For this, Lord, we give you the praise and the honor and the glory. And we thank you, Lord God, that even now, almighty God, somebody's faith is being stirred up again. Again, Almighty God. Somebody's faith is being revived, Almighty God. Somebody's faith, Almighty God, is being shaken, Almighty God, together, oh God, to believe you for your word, Almighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we understand, oh God, that our prayers can never be in vain in the name of Jesus. Our prayers can never fall to the ground as dust. It's not possible. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, that every evil imagination be neutralized by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every evil thought, every contrary thought, oh God, to the impossible, to the miraculous, to the supernatural, let it be nullified by the power in the blood of Jesus and let it be nullified by evidence, oh God, hardcore evidence, oh God, that you are the God of the impossible in the mighty name of Jesus. To you, oh God, be all the glory, the praise and the honor in the name of Jesus. Family, I want us uh, to quickly go to the scripture. You know, I, 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 it's just been ringing in my spirit for the past couple of days. I heard the voice of the Lord clearly saying, you know, I think it was on Monday, there shall be a performance of my word. Mm -hmm. There shall be a performance of my word, of my word. And I never knew that scripture. I, I didn't understand that language, you know, because we always read the New King James Version. Mm -hmm. But then I went and I Googled it and I said, I have to find out where is this word because I kept on hearing the word coming in my spirit. And I went, of course, and I found it in Luke chapter 1 and verse 45. Mm -hmm. And that is the perfect example of a miracle. Contextually from Luke 1 until verse 45, that is where the angel of the Lord visited Mary, visited mm -hmm. first Elizabeth and then visited Mary and told Mary that she has been chosen. He said, blessed are you amongst women, mm -hmm. that she has been chosen to be the one that will bear the Messiah, that will conceive and deliver the Messiah into the world. Hallelujah. And so the Bible says in verse 45, that this is what the angel also said to her. He said, and blessed is she who believed that there will be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. The version that I read said, blessed is the one who believes, blessed is she who believes that there will be a performance of the word that was spoken to her. Now, child of God, we have a word that has been spoken by the angel of our altar. Glory be to God. The one that God has assigned to bring good news because the gospel is good news. Hallelujah. The gospel, God has got good plans for us. God loves us. God, the Bible says, he delights in our prosperity. Mm -hmm. He delights in our healing. He delights in our peace and our joy. So because of his delight in, in, in good things happening to us, he, he assigns an angel. He sends an apostle of faith on a mission to mm -hmm. go and tell my people that this is my word. This is my promise and the the our father the angel of hallelujah ministries the angel of this altar came and delivered a similar message that mike angel uh, gabriel was it angel gabriel that mm -hmm. gave that gave it to, uh, gave to mary and he gave her an impossible promise it seemed impossible amen it's unusual nobody before and nobody after mary you know had a baby by immaculate conception. Nobody before and nobody after. It seemed so ridiculous. It seemed so impossible. It seemed so mind-blowing. It seemed so explosive. It seemed so unbelievable. And yet the angel came to give her that very message that you are going to give birth to the Messiah and you shall call his name wonderful. He will be the king of the Jews. He will be the king of this world. Hallelujah. And that's exactly the same kind of message that we have received. That this month of October is our month 
of impossible, of unusual mm. miracles, mm. of Amen. explosive miracles, of mind-blowing miracles. Hallelujah. Mm. If mm. I were you, I would be excited. But Shut now the thing is, my pastor, that because the message has gone forth, because the proclamation has come forth, you and I need to pray. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We need to pray it through. Glory mm -hmm. be to God. We need to pray it through. And how do we pray it through? We make sure that we deal with every opposing spirit mm -hmm. that, is, that is trying or already, you know, planning and plotting. Mm -hmm. How are they going to make sure that this promise does not come, in, come to pass in your life and in my life? So we deal with them in the spirit. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. The word of God says that Paul said that there are many opportunities that there's a great door of blessing that has opened, but there are adversaries. I want us to get ready right now to take authority. You know, I remember something that Bishop Jackie said that kind of changed my prayer life a little bit. She said that God has done everything on the cross of Calvary. Mm -hmm. You know, I always picture the Lord sitting with his legs crossed on the throne of glory, resting, understanding that he's done everything already. She said, we, don't have, we no longer have to beg God, but we have to deal with the spirits, the opposing spirits. We have to deal with that devil of adversary. We have to deal with that satanic influence. We have to deal with that satanic resistance and opposition that does not want the word of God to come to pass. And we have been well equipped in Alleluia Ministries. We know how to fight, Alleluia. Our Father has taught us that from the time of, Bob, of John the Baptist until now. The kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force, by force in the name of Jesus. That is why we can come up and say we have victory because we have been in the battle. We have fought that enemy. We have resisted that enemy so that we can come out blazing guns and say we have the victory and we have the testimony. So Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we come against every evil spirit, oh God, that will try, oh God, to mesmerize that will try, oh God, to infiltrate the minds of your sons and your daughters, oh God, to let their prophetic promise just go by like that. No, it cannot just go by like that. We must experience unusual miracles. We have to all be recipients of the unusual in this month in the name of Jesus. So we come against every evil imagination, every evil thought, every evil word that has been spoken against this word. We stand against it with the blood of Jesus. Satan, we declare that the blood of the covenant is against you in Jesus' name. Mighty name, your plan to mesmerize people, your plan to brainwash people into believing that you no longer perform yes. miracles, that what we have seen is, is, is good enough. Yes. No, Lord, we are believing you for the unusual. We are believing you for the impossible. We are believing you, oh God, for the immediate. Yes. We are yes. believing you, oh God, for the... Yes. For the explosive miracles, oh God, that we know that you are that you are capable. So in the name of Jesus, we bind every spirit of resistance. We bind every satanic power that will try to steal, oh God, the blessing, oh God, that you have set before us in the name of Jesus. We destroy every evil word that has been spoken against your son's healing, against your daughter's healing. In the name of Jesus, we stand against the plan of the enemy to steal that contract, to steal that employment. To, de to steal that deal, Almighty God. We stand against you, Satan, by the power in the blood of Jesus. We stand against your plans to prevent that wedding from taking place, to prevent that proposal from happening in the mighty name of Jesus. We stand against your plans to destroy a marriage that is already standing, that is on the brink of collapse. We stand against you, Satan, with the blood of Jesus. We stand against your plans to bring confusion, O God, in the homes of your sons and your daughters by the power in the blood of Jesus. We stand, almighty God, against every spirit of rebellion, every spirit of disobedience, oh God, that is trying to infiltrate our children's minds, our children's hearts. Satan, we stand against you with the blood of Jesus. We rebuke you and we cast you out by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every cancerous spirit that is trying to raise itself up above the name of Jesus, we pull you down under the blood of the covenant right now in the mighty name of Jesus and we declare, almighty God, that there shall be a performance of your word. There shall be a performance of your miracle. There shall be a performance of your promise. There shall be a performance of the prophetic promise of God. Lord, your sons and your daughters, almighty God, have been waiting the whole year, almighty God, for 
something unusual to happen, Almighty God. I pray that in this month, Almighty God, it shall manifest in the name of Jesus. The devil, like it or not, we resist and we destroy and we rebuke any hovering spirit, any contrary spirit, Almighty God, any spirit that is contending with our angel of blessings, oh God, we come against it with the blood of Jesus. Satan, we declare that the blood of the covenant is against you and we declare and we decree in the name of Jesus, according to the word of God, that there shall be a performance of every miracle that your son, that your daughter, oh God, is waiting upon you for in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter how ridiculous, no matter how uh, impossible, no matter, almighty God, how outstanding, how outrageous that, that miracle is, oh God, we declare and, and decree in the name of Jesus. The way that you perform that miracle, oh God, by letting Mary give birth, oh God, to the Savior of this world, almighty God, is exactly the same way, almighty God, that you will make the unusual come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. For your word says, oh God, that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead will, is on the inside of us and it will vitalize our mortal bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, almighty God, we stand, almighty God, on the word. We stand on your promises. Your promises are yes. Your promises are amen. No matter how far-fetched it may be, no matter how ridiculous it may seem, no matter how in a high in authority, oh God, that our oppressors are, almighty God, we destroy them by the power in the blood of the covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare, almighty God, in the name of Jesus and under the superior anointing of the prophet that you have assigned, oh God, in this generation, that that prophetic promise will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray tonight, child of God, wherever you are, the word of God says in Galatians, do not grow weary. Do not grow weary. Do not grow weary until the end of this month of October. Keep on enforcing that word. Keep on provoking that word. Keep on invoking that word. Keep on enforcing the word of God that I have to experience, you know, an impossible miracle. I have to experience an unusual miracle. You know, I'm so blessed, Pastor Pam. He's one of my disciples. Every day she tells me, Pastor, mm -hmm. this is what happened. On the first, this is what happened. Oh, On the nice. second, this is what happened. Great. On the third, this is what happened. So I copied from her. I started writing in my diary. On the first, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. Yes, the unusual will happen in the name of mm -hmm. Jesus. The word of God says, blessed are you that believes. Mm -hmm. The only ingredient, my pastor, is to believe to trust the word of God. That's like true. Pastor Pam said earlier on, we keep on repeating the same scripture. Yes. The word of God says that if you believe in the Lord your God, who is the miracle worker, who is the God of the impossible, who is the God of the supernatural. He said, you believe the Lord your God and you shall be established. You will be firm. You will be unshakable. You will be unmovable. You will just understand that this healing is coming, the devil like it or not. You will understand that my millions are coming, the devil like it or not. You will understand that my marriage will not break in the name of Jesus, that my children will come back to their senses in the name of Jesus, that I will be an influencer that I'll be one that will be used of God mightily mm. in this generation. When you stand and you believe that God will make it happen, you will be firm. You will be established. No matter what you see around you, child of God, never be moved by physical evidence. We are spiritual people. Yes. Hallelujah. We are spirit-based people. We are spirit-filled people. We are filled with the spirit of God. And we understand that in the realm of the spirit, anything is possible in the name of Jesus. But the Bible doesn't just leave it there. He also said, believe the prophet, mm -hmm. believe in the prophet, believe the prophet, believe in the prophet, mm -hmm. believe the prophet, believe in the prophet, believe the prophet, mm -hmm. hallelujah, believe in the prophet and you will be prosperous, wow. hallelujah. That's what true. a promise, mm -hmm. what an amazing promise that if we believe in God, we shall be established but also if we believe in the prophets, that we will prosper. prosper. Some of us, my pastor, we don't have, you know, that level of faith to believe God, but we can believe a man. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we believe God, we don't believe a man. But the word of God says, believe both. There are benefits yes. with both in the name of Jesus. Okay. So Father, tonight in the name also of Jesus, time, any spirit mm -hmm. that is trying to taint and mm -hmm. contaminate your word yes, Lord, by making us somehow detest the prophetic. Yes. We stand against it with the blood yes. of Jesus. Jesus. We stand against it. We, mm. we stand against the lies of Satan so in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we believe that you're a miracle working God. Yes, we believe that you're the God of the impossible. Yes, we believe that you're the God of the unusual. Yes. And we also believe in the prophetic. 
Yes. We understand, Almighty God, the dynamic of the relationship between you and your prophets, O oh God. Yes. And I thank you, Lord, because your word says in Isaiah that, every, that you will always stand with the prophet, mm. that you will support the word of the prophet, yes. that you will back up the word of the prophet. Yes. And I thank you, Father God, that even in this month, there will be thousands and thousands and thousands of testimonies of unusual proportions in the mighty name of Jesus. We are standing upon that word, almighty God, like desperate people, almighty God. We understand, almighty God, that these are the last days and that if we do not believe in you and we do not believe in the prophets, we shall perish and we cannot have that in the name of Jesus. We will not perish. We will stand, almighty God. We will not be cast away, almighty God. We will stand upon your word, almighty God, because your word, your word says, oh God, that heaven and earth will pass away but you will but your word will never pass away in the name of Jesus so we thank you and we bless you that us in Alleluia ministries are privileged we thank you and we bless you that we have a prophet that we can touch that we can feel that we can hear that we can see that when he speaks things begin to happen thank you that we have a portfolio of evidence of years of evidence oh God of 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 examples of testimonies yes. almighty god yes. that you do not lie you're That's not true. a man you cannot true. lie neither are you the son of man you never true. repent the word for this season shall stand yes. in almighty the name of god. jesus yes. thank Lord you Christ. my father that yes. because i know that it's done yes. somebody's spirit has been stirred up tonight yes. to believe god. and to take your belief god. and your faith in god to another level keep on working on that faith the word of God says that faith comes by hearing, 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 hearing the word of God. But the word of God also says that faith without action, faith without works is dead. If you have faith but you don't pray, if you have faith but you don't fast, if you have faith but you don't give and seal that which you have received, then your faith is out of kilter. Yes. So I pray in the name of Jesus you, that we will Jesus. exercise our faith yes. every day of this month in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus that we will go deeper. We will pray for longer. We will fight in the spirit because come the 30th of October, we must win in yes. Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. My pastor, Hallelujah. We, we always win. I love it. Hallelujah. The word of God says, blessed be the Lord our God. We has trained our hands mm -hmm. to war and our fingers to fight. We are not going to let go mm -mm. and we are going to proclaim we are going to declare there is power in speaking right that's right there is power in saying it well we need to speak we need to perceive like what isaiah was saying we need to perceive it and we need to speak it you can only speak of what you perceive so there is power in us uttering the right words about unusual miracles. Keep on declaring them in your day to day life Amen. to say, God, I see that new car. Behold, you are doing a new thing. I see that new marriage. God, I thank you for a divine health. I thank you. It is my possession. I'm changing territories. I'm changing vacations. Hallelujah. I'm going for holiday. I'm going to grow. Hallelujah. My team is going to grow. Speak it. I'm speaking of what I want to see in my life. I'm speaking it. I'm declaring Hallelujah. it. Yeah. Like my pastor said, you need to believe it. You believe it, you speak it, because you know it is surely going to pass. Hallelujah. It is surely going to be. Glory so we be just to want God. to thank God. Tonight <laughs> was Jesus. just an awesome Hallelujah. night, because we know we are very sure of this one very thing, that God is going to fulfill whatever we ask for. It shall be granted unto no us doubt. in our lives. We Hallelujah. don't doubt our prophet. We don't doubt the our unusual God. miracle. Remember, this is a year of pressing forward, forgetting all the past failures, forgetting all the failures of January up to uh, September. Now we are in a new month. God is doing a new Hallelujah. thing and we are winning. Hallelujah. I celebrate God for Hallelujah. your life because I can see a glorious woman. I can see a glorious man that is moving in power, Amen. in authority, in greatness, in influence. And we are taking over. Hallelujah. And you Glory know, be to my God, pastor, hallelujah. Time it's is exciting so times, hallelujah. Yes. And I want us to understand that, uh, you know, the IVP is like the culmination. Mm -hmm. It's like the cherry on the top, hallelujah. Yes. So you must make sure that you make your way That's to true. your altar. Seal what you are, have received by coming and making sure 
that you are physically in your altar. Mm -hmm. You know, the That's greatest true. investment you can ever make in That's your true. life That's is to invest in the spiritual. Yes. Nobody that comes to the altar goes back the same. Mm -hmm. You are lifted, you're elevated, you're increased, you're expanded, you are stretched, you learn more, you develop, you mature, you go yes. back full of fire and you go back with testimonies. That's true. So glory be to God, we have come to the end of the program. It's amazing how this hour has just flown, but we thank God that uh, our God is Jehovah Shammah, hallelujah, is everywhere. You can continue praying in your home, in your car, yes. you know, in your office, wherever you are. Like Pastor Pam said, in your day-to-day -day work, you know, you just keep on confessing the word of God. You keep on proclaiming, you keep on claiming, you keep on sealing. Yes. Whatever you need to do, that is faith in action. That's and Lord, I, I, whatever the enemy puts up here, you counter it with what comes out of your mouth in the name of Jesus. And the Lord God will be glorified. You see, God is glorified by your miracle. God is glorified by your testimony. God is glorified when we are full of joy, when we are full of celebration, hallelujah, and jubilation. Then God gets all the glory. And of course, you get the victory in the mighty name of Jesus. My pastor, from yes. us here in the studio... Our time is up, but we are praying. This yes. month, we are not giving up, and we will continue to do so in the name of Jesus. Know that your Father, and my Father is on the mountain. He is praying, you know, he's interceding, also making sure that the prophetic word that the Lord gave him is taking the responsibility to make sure that you and I are beneficiaries and recipients. Glory be to God. Every one of us will testify in the name of Jesus. From us in the studio, Pastor Pam. We want to say shalom. shalom. For the benefit of the various visiting internationals from across the world, there are no limits. The degree to which you will connect during this highly spiritual moment is the degree to which you will see God move in your life. The physical world we see is formed and controlled by the spiritual world. As such, God has given governance and spiritual authority to his prophets who govern their prophetic office and have access to and dominion over physical activities. With the ability to foretell the future, the destiny of their people, seeing the private hidden things pertaining to their lives. We see this is exemplified in Elijah in 2 Kings 6 verse 12, when he hears the secret military strategies were spoken of in King Aram's bedroom. This divine energy to see and hear private happenings in the quarters of high-ranking national leaders is an ability still honed by a prophet in his prophetic office. Given the mandate by God to govern over nations and kingdoms, this prophet is Alf Luko. There is one such prophet with whom God has entrusted us with the governing power and unhindered clarity of sight over nations and kingdoms in this world. Pastor Alf Luko has received divine instructions from the throne room. This October from 25th to the 29th be part of the International Visitors Program IDD. As a place where visitors come from most parts of the world to experience the tangible presence of the Lord Jesus in a manner unlike any other place on earth. From 25th to the 29th October 2023 at AMI, 5 Impala Road, Kelvin View, Johannesburg, South Africa. There will be an explosion of wonders and testimonies in every area of your life. You will receive healing, blessings and great financial breakthrough. Your life is about to become a testimony. A place where divine energy will be shared with each one of the guests. For God to give us a man whom he has allowed to see beyond what the mind and heart can comprehend is a priceless gift to be cherished. A man with unrivaled spiritual vigor and yet displays in his flesh a heavenly dynamic of humility and forthrightness. His grace, Alf Luko. Beloved, this IVP is prophetically called by God. Register now at www.alleluiaministries.com or call plus 2711-443-5705. Thank you for tuning into our broadcast. We trust that you've been blessed. For more information and resources, visit our website at www.alleluiaministries.com. For our prayer line, you may call the numbers on your screen. Tune in to our next broadcast. Stay blessed.